Hello Fantasy Faithfuls and welcome to the first Scheme Fit video of 2019. Today I will be looking at Sam Darnold and Adam Gase. So first let's take a look at Sam Darnold from his rookie season. Darnold has pretty standard passing patterns. As a right handed quarterback they tend to throw more deep passes to the left and more short passes to the right. This is not something that correlates that well with fantasy points as the short left zone is the best one to throw to for fantasy scoring. His completion rate in the deep left zone is really good for a rookie, being almost on par with Drew Brees. The other zones though are not as accurate, he is far behind Baker Mayfield in this regard. His yards per completion however is really good, he's just one yard shy of the league average in the deep zones. Impressive for a rookie and especially since he throws a fair bit of deep balls to the outside zones. His short zone production is above league average in the left and the middle and right on on the right side. His notable zones are short right and deep left when it comes to targeting. For completion percentage he's either good or bad, there is no middle ground here. His production in the deep left and short middle is good, but there is no synergy with his trends to the short left. I wish he had more passes there, maybe something Gaze can fix. Let us now focus on Adam Gaines for a bit. Quarterbacks under Gabe have finished 30th, 22nd, and 22nd in the last three years in fantasy scoring. Adam Gaines quarterbacks have had the third, fourth, and second fewest pass attempts in the last three years. But his quarterbacks have only been outside the top 15 of touchdowns scored once in one of those three years. Quarterbacks that play under Gaze have tended to focus on passes outside the numbers. He has some of the highest passing patterns when it comes to these throws, both short and deep with almost no passes being thrown over the middle. You can see that with 3% in the deep middle and 18 in the short middle. For accuracy, his quarterbacks have struggled with completing deep passes. This is of course on the quarterback's shoulders as well, but it's up to the coach to help the quarterback with development in all areas of his game and putting him in the best possible situation to complete passes. When it comes to gaining yards, his quarterbacks have been below league average in all zones but the deep right. Combine a lack of accuracy with low yards gain per completion and you can easily see why the Dolphins quarterbacks have struggled. It is notable though that Gates and Darnold fit in play calling very well. Darnold is already used to throwing most of his passes to the outside zones so that will most likely continue. It will be interesting to see how the deep throw accuracy will look since Darnold was far from accurate in 2018 and Gase is not really known for accurate deep throwing quarterbacks. Darnold's best passing trend was his yards per completion in his short zones. This is Gase's quarterback's biggest weaknesses. If Gase can help him raise his short pass accuracy and Darnold can keep up his yards per completion, we have a good match on our hands. When it comes to calling pass plays, Gase have called a pass on 27% of his first downs, 24% on second down, and 19% on third down. Darnold has been very good on throws on first down compared to second and third, completing 62% on passes for 12.4 yards per completion. If the Jets don't get a high profile running back, I can see Gase calling more pass plays on first down and give Darnold more chances to produce points. Now let's look at their red zone trends and break it down. Sam Darnold scored a touchdown on 20% of his red zone throws, 5% below league average. Adam Gase's quarterbacks usually have a 30% success rate in the red zone. Darnold scored 7 out of his 10 red zone touchdowns on passes to the short outside zones. Gase quarterbacks throw 66% of the red zone throws to the short outside, very good match. Finally, let's look at their synergies and bad fits. And zones that match well are the deep left, short left, and short right. Darnold is used to throw deep left, he's very accurate on those throws, and Gates loves to call deep throws to that zone. Gates calls a ton of passes to the short outside zones, and Darnold is very productive on these passes. First down play calling will be very relevant, and the red zone fits very well. Darnold will score more touchdowns with Gates, in my opinion. Their bad fits is Darnold's short zone accuracy. The short zones have both positives and negatives as Gates quarterbacks usually don't gain too many yards per completion in these zones. And if there's a new running back, I don't know, say Le'Veon Bell, there will be less pass attempts on first down. In conclusion, I think that Darnold has a great chance to take steps forward with Adam Gates as his coach. 
and I think that he will score more touchdowns. However, I do not think that it fits great enough for me to become head over heels for Darnold as a fantasy option in 2019. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out csdfantasy.com for more content. We will have more offseason content than ever this year, especially in May when the Fantasy Snapshot Bundle drops with over 150 video breakdowns of players for the 2019 season. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see y'all next week. Hello, Fantasy Faithful. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out more of them right here and here. In case you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat.